it's very different than what we've done in the past where we had, here's the networking lounge. Here's the, you know, expo floor. Yes. Here's where you go to the session room. What kind of shifts do you see in events, either that can be capitalized on or just in general, things that you think we will see in events as time goes on? I think we're seeing a lot of what we have seen in the past. There are a number of different events that are still saying the large, you know, sessions, one-on-ones, booths, that sort of thing. What we're trying to do is really go smaller scale, more authentic those open connections, having sessions, honestly, where you bring thought leaders together that have different backgrounds and maybe even different roles, like the CIO with the CMO, where we know there's tension and bringing them together to connect on a human level in just a networking experience, no programming, just let's bring y'all together and let's have a chat. And that's one of the things I think that most event planners are least comfortable with because it's, wait a minute, we want them to walk away with this piece of information. <laughs> yep. Sometimes just getting them together and facilitating a conversation and being another person at the table is really powerful because they don't forget that. So it's along the lines of the things we've been talking about that have been trending, that moments of authenticity, the memorable, inspiring moments creating an environment where they're able to share their voice because everyone really wants to share their voice and have their moment. So we're really gravitating to the smaller scale, more personal, where we can really give the attention. And we're really focusing on leaders, business leaders, even though we are a technology, professional services and technology company, we're really focusing in on business leaders. I'll give you an example. At a previous think you could have 300 sessions. And when you say think, you mean the IBM the event IBM's, you're talking about? Yeah, okay. the IBM yep. think that it was 25,000 in 2019, I think it was. And That's uh, like a basketball game. That's like an yes. NBA basketball game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number of people. Yeah. And this year, at our flagship, it's going to be 3,000. And so we have some select keynotes, some select spotlight sessions. And we've basically created a showcase floor that at a trade show you'd think of as all booths that has smaller stages as well as different experiential. They're not really booths. They're like neighborhoods that we've created that you can go into and it's all immersive and everything has digital activations, analog activations, a little bit of everything so that we can really play to the different types of ways that people experience things, the different ways that things are communicated. If I'm a person who really maybe is more comfortable with the touch of something, then we have analog experiences. We have digital app experiences. We have visual set and sound together. So we just really have a wide range of what we know is of interest. And we're making it a comfortable space to sit down, comfortable seating to have those kinds of conversations. So it's very different than what we've done in the past where we had, here's the networking lounge. Here's the expo floor. Yes. Here's where you go to the session room. You Mm -hmm. know, so we're kind of trying to really showcase that threading of our narrative and, and, and all of the messaging in those different experiences together. I like that a lot. It's good stuff. It's everything we've talked about, knowing the customer more, being more intimate, being the authentic term to me is really big, trying to push brands to be super authentic and be themselves just all the time and really exude it. I think people really respect and cling to that. 